Hello, I'm Sketchy Duval, and today I'm here recording on my 3DS for fun, because life is about fun, and that's what I'm doing. Um, I've always been into this, like, style or whatever, ever since I was a kid, I guess. Like, I've always been into, like, found footage horror movies and, like, VHS style. Like, the VHS movies, I think, are really cool. Of course, Blair Witch Project. And... Yeah, I've always liked it, and I studied film production in university, and like I was always into making my stuff have that kind of style and whatever. Not so much anymore because it became a trend to do like VHS style editing, and so now I'm like, this is so boring, like everyone's doing it, it means nothing. But at the time, to me, it felt really cool. Yeah, it's just something I'm, I'm always into. And shooting on my 3DS feels similar to like a VHS style. So I thought it would be fun to maybe show some of my pictures that exist on my DSi and 3DS. So the 3DS that I have now, I bought maybe a year ago, about a year ago. And I bought it because I wanted to record videos on it. I had a DSi. I got it when I was 10 years old on Christmas. And... I had that DSi until last year when I sold it and I bought a 3DS instead because I just wanted something that could record video. I'm a little disappointed that the 3D the 3DS doesn't have Flipnote on it because I really liked making Flipnotes. I saved the files of my Flipnotes from my DSi before I sold the DSi and I thought I'd be able to transfer them onto my 3DS but there's no Flipnote. And the DSi store, or the 3DS store is like shut down, so I can't even like download Flipnote. So, I don't know, I just have the files, but like I can't really do anything with them. Anyway, um, I also saved the pictures from my DSi before I sold it. So, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to show some of those pictures today. So, <laughs> first, I have this picture. Um, this is a selfie that I took on my DSi when I was 11 years old. It says January 22nd, 2010 at 11.10 p.m. Whoa. So this was 14 years ago, almost 15 years ago. I was a little emo kid. This was one of my favorite selfies that I took at the time. Um, I don't think the word selfie even like existed yet, but I loved taking pictures of myself on the DSi, especially with the filters that would like distort your face. Here, I'll show some of those. Okay, here's this one. I thought this one was so funny when I was a kid. Um, also, this one. I also thought this one was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Here, we have a drawing I did when I was 11 years old. This photo was taken on February 27th, 2010 at 2.50 p.m. This is on the wall of a local gallery in my hometown, or near my hometown. And this is a drawing I did of some emo boy I found on Google Images. And my art teacher wanted to put it in a gallery show. It was like a student gallery show, like from around the area. A bunch of schools had stuff shown there, and he wanted to show my piece. I was so obsessed with emo boy pictures, looking up pictures of emo boys on the internet, and whenever I went to get a haircut, I would print out a picture of an emo boy, and I would bring the photo to the hair salon and be like, I want this photo. Also, one time, I took a photo of... I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, Zexion, I think, from Final Fantasy, or from Kingdom Hearts, and I was always obsessed with his hair, like he has the long piece, and then it's like short in the back, I thought it was so cool, and he was one of my first like character crushes growing up, so I wanted my hair like that, and I brought it to the salon one time, and I was like, can you do this, and they were like, no, we can't do that, so boring, like yes you can, you just don't want to try, come on. Um, so I never got my Zexion haircut, but I did have emo hair, as you will see in some of my selfies. Mm. Exhibit A. Like, come on. <laughs> I think in all of the selfies I've shown so far, I'm wearing the same hoodie, which is a Paramore hoodie, that 
I got from Hot Topic. It was like a limited edition one. I was obsessed with that hoodie. I wore it like every day. I had like every Hot Topic Paramore shirt that was ever made. And I had a lot of other stuff too, like posters and the hoodie. And I had like a stationary set. Like it was a folder, a notebook, and I think a pen. And it had like a green dinosaur on it. It was really cute. I think it's so funny that I was walking around with a DSi taking pictures. Like, I think I had a digital camera at this point. But for some reason, instead of using my camera, I was walking around with my DSi. I think that's so funny. Okay, here are some pictures of the woods. These are back behind my grandparents' house. And I loved going in the woods and making like a fort because they have a really big yard space and there's like some trees in the back and I made this one section into like my area and I set up like a bench and like I made like a teepee type thing and whatever so yeah this is in those woods these pictures were taken on April 1st 2010 around 6 30 p.m. wow this is crazy like I, of course I've seen these pictures a lot, but having the dates attached to them is like so crazy to me. Like, it's really, not to be old and like corny, but like it's really bringing me back. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, and like I do remember this. <laughs> oh my god, here is another emo kid selfie. This selfie, I think this is like the one maybe from my like early emo years, you know, like elementary school emo. Um, I think this was 4th grade. It says May 14th, 2010 at 5.35pm. This is like everything. Come on, we have the emo fringe. Like, I literally look like Christopher Drew. The vest, the pinstripe vest. Come on. I think this was a Paramore shirt that I had. A white Paramore shirt. Behind me, look, we have a CD player. Some PS2 games. What else do we have? My mirror. Oh my god, so... You can kind of see it on the top of the shelf. Um, my friend and I went to the beach one time and we were walking on the sand trails, like back behind the beach. And we came across a mirror buried in the sand. It was like this big oval shaped mirror. And we were like, oh my God, I want it. So um, we took it home and she was like, okay, we can like trade it back and forth. Like you keep it one week, I'll keep it the next week. That never ended up happening. I just kept it because she never asked me for it, but that's my mirror, and I used that until, like, I moved out to university. Okay, and then behind me on the wall, first of all, the wall is half pink, half black, because my bedroom, my childhood bedroom, was painted black, pink, and white, because I loved that color scheme. Um, I got it from Ben Margera. He had a skateboarding brand. I don't remember the brand name, but the symbol was the harder ground and the colors he used a lot were like black, pink, and white, and I thought it was so cool. So I wanted my room to be those colors, and my parents painted it for me. Then on the wall, I have my Twilight poster. This was like one of maybe four Twilight posters I had. This one was the one where Edward and Bella are like caressing each other. And then next to it, we have my pencil drawing that I did of Paramore, and I took it to my first concert when I saw Paramore, and I met Haley, and she signed it for me, so I had that hanging in my bedroom, of course. So, oh my god, this photo is like a relic. This is like a goldmine of 2010s emo, I don't know, whatever. And we also have this selfie. I pretended I was sleeping, and then I took this picture. I just think it's a cute picture. Like, my nose looks so snatched, like I look like a little elf. This was May 21st, 2010, at 11.31 p.m. I was always staying up late. Again, here is 2010. This is June 17th, 2010, at 5.53 p.m. This was, again, at my grandparents' house, in the back of their property. They had a, like, scaffolding structure in the backyard, because they would do a lot of, like, landscaping work and yard work and stuff, so they had a lot of equipment and tools. And I climbed up to the top of the scaffolding structure and took a selfie with my DSi. And I'm wearing a Paramore beanie from Hot Topic, of course. Okay, 
Next, this is a photo of me. I'm wearing a Green Day shirt with Hot Topic skinny jeans and some black flip-flops. And this is a waterfall. <laughs> um, I was visiting with my grandparents and I think we were probably driving from my parents' house up north to my grandparents' house. And we stopped at a waterfall on the way. And I must have asked my grandma to take this picture for me. So this was August 2nd, 2010 at 4.44 p.m. 4.44. I've been seeing a lot of angel numbers recently. Like yesterday I saw 4.44 and 7.77. Today I saw 1.11 and 4.44. Let me know like what you think they mean. I tried googling angel numbers and I don't know, like I'm a little iffy because no matter what number I google, it gives me the same answer. Like I'm like, oh, what does 444 mean? And it's like, okay, it means you are in a space of growth and being present in your life. And I'm like, okay, what does 777 mean? And it's like, you're in a space of growth and being present in your life. I'm like, okay, like, where are we getting this from? Oh my God, this next picture. This picture meant a lot to me for a while. It doesn't really look like anything. Um, this was August 6, 2010 at 6.06 a.m. I slept on the sofa in the living room and I woke up really early, like unexpectedly. And this was a weekend, I remember. And so I woke up and took this picture out the front window of our house. And I took it because when I looked out the window, the sky was such a beautiful shade of blue that I have like never seen again in my life. Like I don't, something about it just really struck me and it made me feel really like like romantic. I don't, can I say that? I was 11 years old, I don't know, feeling romantic, whatever. Not romantic in like a weird way, but just like romantic about life, you know? Like I felt very hopeful and just really dreamy and whatever. It was just like a very moving moment to me for some reason. So I snapped this picture of this guy in that moment. Here are some other emo selfies. And as you can see, I was obsessed with this like split mirror filter. Um, I guess I've always been kind of into this idea of like twins and like conjoined twins and stuff. If you've seen some of my artwork on Instagram, I've drawn quite a few like conjoined characters, especially even recently, I literally just drew one. And in this one, I have fake glasses, also from Hot Topic, I think. Um, it was around like that emo era where everyone had the nerd glasses and I went through like three or four pairs and I broke all of them, but I loved pretending I had glasses. Even now, I still have a pair of fake glasses. <laughs> Just because, I, I don't know, I think it's a cute accessory sometimes to be like... Like when, when I haven't done my makeup, but I want to just like run to the convenience store, I put on my glasses and I'm like, okay, they can't see the pores. But as a kid, I was not thinking about the pores. I just thought it looked cool and emo. This one was August 16th, 2010 at 1046 AM. And this one was November 12th, 2010 at 936 AM. After that, I guess I stopped using my DS for a while, my DSi, because I think at that time I got my 360. So from 2012 to 2016, there's a gap where I have no pictures on my DSi. And the next picture that I do have is this one in 2016. So this was February 26th, 2016 at 4.35 p.m. I was 17 years old. I'm still wearing the Paramore beanie, the same one from earlier. At this time, I was really obsessed with wanting to be a Tumblr boy. Also, look at that eyebrow. Like, I was not tweezing my brows at all. I never tweezed my eyebrows until I was like 19 or 20. At this time, you're gonna gag. I was literally taking a razor, like, like a shading razor, and swiping in between my eyebrows. I'm not even kidding, just swiping in between my eyebrows to shave my unibrow. But yeah, those are my eyebrows when I was 17. And here they are now. Look at that shape. Like, I'm really proud of my eyebrow shape now. Like, I think I've really snatched it. Here are a few more 
Tumblr boy selfies <laughs> from when I was in high school. Um, these two are from February 27th, 2016 at 9, 10 a.m. And then this picture was from July 1st, 2017 at 9, 01 a.m. And at this point I was 18 and I had graduated high school. This was the summer right before I went to university. Like, look at my eyebrows in 2017. Do you want to know why they look like that? Because I was doing drag at the time, and I had a few friends, like online drag friends, and they convinced me to shave off the tails of my brows because they were like, oh, it'll look really good on you. So I did it, and I thought it was so good. I was like, this is the look. Like, even not even just for doing drag, like, as a boy, I was like, this is it, you know, like these are the brows, this is the look. So for a year or two, I was shaving my eyebrows like that. And at some point it got really crazy where I kept like shaving more and more and they got smaller and smaller. Um, and at that point I was like, okay, I can recognize how crazy this is and I need to like, I need to let them grow out. So. Um, yeah, I've had quite a journey with my eyebrows, but I'm happy with where they're at now. Yeah. Okay, next we have these two pictures from December 22nd, 2019 at 1.50 and 1.51 a.m. Um, at this time, I had dyed my hair black. This was when I was in university and I was home visiting for Christmas. Again, after that, there's a big gap in my pictures because I wasn't really using my DSi for anything at this point. So the next picture is from 2023. This is March 29th, 2023 at 7.03 a.m. And this was when I moved to Japan. This was my first apartment in Japan. Wow. Be crazy. This was only a year ago. Well, I guess a year and a half. A little over a year ago but um my life has changed so much even from then it's kind of wild that my dsi holds such a record of my life you know let's continue here are some photos i took in first i think this one is in ueno and then this is in ikebukuro and these are october 1st 2023 when my boyfriend and i first visited japan we stayed in Ikebukuro, and we went to this mall many times because our hotel was like right down the street. And so visiting here again after moving to Japan was just like cute. It was like, it was fun to be like, oh my god, like we were here and now we live here, you know. Those are all the pictures I have on my DSi, um, but I do have some pictures from my 3DS that I want to share, specifically this one. I want to end on this picture because this was October 21st, 2023 at 3.11 p.m. And there was a big rainstorm in the morning and then there was a rainbow outside. So this was taken like out on my balcony um, from my first apartment. I just think it's nice having this picture to end on because like, on my DSi, I would always take pictures of, of course, myself and my family, but also just nature that was around me. Taking pictures of the sky and the trees and stuff. It just reminded me of my childhood. So having this picture now in Japan as, like, a new marker of where I'm at. And even after this picture, like, I don't live in this apartment anymore. I moved. But it's still just a nice feeling, I guess. Like, it feels very happy and hopeful, and it also serves as a reminder to myself that I did achieve a lot of things that I wanted, even when I maybe doubted myself or doubted the ability of things to come together. I don't know. I like this picture. It feels nice. <laughs> so, yeah, those are all of my pictures from my DSi to my 3DS from 2010 or 2009 until now. It's just kind of crazy looking back and seeing pictures that kind of make a timeline of my life. And 
I appreciate having a DSi, <laughs> having my DSi at that age to take those pictures so I could really like remember my childhood. Having pictures of moments that I didn't really think anything of at the time. Like I wasn't in the moment being like, oh my god, one day I will miss this. You know, you don't think about that as a kid. But now, looking back at them, not that I miss it, but it's just like kind of an acknowledgement of how much life has changed and how much life does change and is changing and will change. And I can't really do anything about that besides like go with it and make change for myself and move in ways that I want to move. But it is nice to reminisce and reflect. Because thinking about memories is different from like seeing a picture and being like, whoa, that was real. Like, it's not just something that exists inside my brain. It actually did happen. And I have proof. I'm like, wow, it's like a proof of life or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just rambling because those pictures got me in a like mushy mood. So I'm just like talking, talking, talking. But it feels good. This feels really nice. Oh my god. This is a fun idea. I had no like major plan or expectation for this. I just thought it would be fun to film with my 3DS. And then it conjured up all of these feelings and thoughts and emotions. Yeah, thank you for being here looking through my pictures with me. I had a fun time just going through them and sharing them and talking about them. If you'd like to see more of my art beyond drawing emo boys, you can check out my Instagram at Sketchy Duval, of course. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so until next time, goodbye.